Hi guys, in the following video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can inspect your images and find the right sizes for those images on your Firefox browser. So whenever you're going to upload images to the web, you want to be very careful about choosing the correct sizes so that you can have the best optimized images for the display that you're showing your images on. Using uh, Firefox's inspect tool, you will be able to uh, check the elements of the uh, of the website, and you will define the correct image sizes for each of the elements on the page. So, for if you want to do that, you can go ahead and right click and hit Inspect Element. And with this, you'll have the Inspector tool available. And if you want to uh, select any element, you can just go over to the left hand side, choose Pick an Element. And then you can hover over any instance of an element on the site. So right now you can see that this image is 439 by 600. So in this case, you want to upload images at double that size. Um, you need to do that due to having retina devices. And um, with that, you need double the pixel density. So therefore, you need double this image size to make it look crisp on those devices. Uh, just a few things to note whenever you are inspecting and you are thinking about your image sizes, um, there's a couple of rules that you can use to make things easier. Uh, for slideshows um, and anything that is moving left to right, um, you should always just think about the height and then you can set the width to auto, especially if you're going to be using a combination of landscape and portrait images. So in this case, we know that the height is 600, so we will upload images of 1200 pixels in height and we can just set the width to auto. Now for a blog post, for example, you will want to use uh, the opposite of that, you will want to use something that is constrained by width. And that will mean that all images will be double width and you can just set the height for auto. Again, same principle will apply uh, whenever you upload a portrait or a landscape. Just think about the width. If you keep the width consistent, it's going to look nice and consistent as you go down the page. So again, just inspect the, the element. If you were to come in, you could just right click, inspect element choose the little inspector tab, and there you go, you'll see the width of the image. So in this case, it's 809, so you can just double that to around roughly 16, 20 pixels, and you can upload that to your theme. You can do this anywhere in the site and find the image sizes exactly for each element on the page. Just be wary that if your theme is responsive and it's using percentages for the widths, uh, some in, some screens will be larger than others, so you may want to add a little bit of buffer to the image sizing uh, for that purpose. So in this case, uh, you may want to uh, upload an image of 2,000 pixels width just in case um, that a larger screen would display it slightly wider. But for the most part, um, most elements will be responsive with some sort of fixed width anyway. So you should be fine to go through your site, look at all the different uh, sections on there, and find the correct images. Now, just make sure that uh, when you are saving uh, images for the web, check out our tutorial for doing that. Uh, you'll want to make sure they're safe for web and optimized fully so that whenever you go to upload them to your website, they're going to be nice and light and they will not cause you any issues uh, later down the line. So hopefully that helped, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about how to do this, uh, please let us know. Uh, we're always here to help. Thanks.